destroy shit. Pinpoint asteroids in orbit, then hurl y'all thousands of miles an hour towards it. Towards it, towards it, towards it. What's up, Earthlings? First of all, I want to give a big shout out to my boy Al K, who recently made an awesome video regarding our good friend Gleam. So head over to his channel and check it out. The link will be in the description. So our good friend Gleam is back at it again. This time he's claiming that my video where I show the curvature of the earth from my drone is a lie because apparently he found a paper titled visibly discerning the curvature of the earth by a gentleman named David K. Lynch. In this document, which I'll link in the description, he talks about being able to see the curvature through optics and at various heights. Also, he speaks about barrel distortion and how it plays a role when people claim to see the curvature of the earth with their cameras. What Gleam doesn't understand is that this document is talking about being able to see the curvature of the earth through optics and the naked eye, not about using the image compression method to validate the curvature, which is what I did in my video. Now, Gleam loves to use documents and citations that literally debunk all of his flat earth claims. And this one is no exception. In one part of the document, it clearly states, and I quote, we know if we get high enough, i.e. from space, the curvature of the earth is evident. And in another part of the document, it states, high altitude physicist and experienced sky observer, David Gutierrez reported that as his B-57 ascends, the curvature of the horizon does not become readily sensible until about 50,000 feet. And that at 60,000 feet, the curvature is obvious. Now, we all know that Gleam claims that he's not a flat earther. So I don't understand why exactly he's still trying to argue against the globe. Because this document states that curvature cannot be discernible below 20,000 feet, Gleam asserts that my observation, where I observed the curvature at 1,600 feet, is not valid. The problem that Gleam runs into is that my image was compressed and my drone has very minimal barrel distortion. Now Gleam, let me go ahead and break this down for you since you fail to understand simple demonstrations. If a camera or lens has barrel distortion, that means that everything above the center of the frame is going to bend upwards, meaning any straight line is going to look convex above the center of the frame. Any line below the center of the frame is going to be concave. In my image, I was able to demonstrate a convex horizon at the upper part of the frame, in the middle part of the frame, and a lower part of the frame, which completely rules out the claim of barrel distortion, creating their curvature in the horizon. When using the image compression technique, the viewer needs to be a significant height above sea level in order to be able to get the curvature effect when compressing the image. As you see in this picture, my drone was about 17 feet above sea level. And when the image was compressed, there was no discernible curvature. In this next image, which was taken seconds after the first image, the drone was at an elevation of 650 feet above sea level. And as you can see, when the image is compressed, the horizon is curved. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Also, check out the rest of my videos while you're here. And as always, peace. Destroy shit, pinpoint asteroids in orbit, then hurl y'all thousands of miles an hour towards it, towards it, towards it, towards it.